A commonly asked question when it comes to consumables for PowerMax Air Plasma systems is, when is it time to change them? While the nozzle and electrode are the most commonly changed consumables in the stackup, the shield needs to be changed on a regular basis as well. Shield shapes will vary by the application they are designed to address. There are a few different types of PowerMax shields. Drag shields that are isolated can be dragged on the plate and against a template or guide. Mechanized shields are also available for automated applications. Additionally, there are different shields for fine cut, marking, and gouging applications. The shield has several important functions. The shield protects the other consumables from molten spatter, especially the nozzle. The drag shield's castellation sets the torch height so that the flattest part of the arc is cutting the metal. It helps cool the nozzle. It contributes to good cut quality and faster cut speeds. And when using a hand torch, the shield enables drag cutting. The shield has a main orifice that aligns with the nozzle orifice and may have additional vent holes around the center. The most common issues associated with the shield are damage to the main orifice or clogging of the vent holes. Both issues can cause performance problems. It may become evident that the shield is wearing when you spot signs of dross around the orifice or the castellation is worn. Sometimes you can easily pick or brush the dross off the shield with a wire brush. If the orifice is still perfectly round, then the shield can still be used. If not, the shield should be replaced. To learn more about PowerMax consumable information, please go to hypertherm.com using this URL address. Thank you for watching.